Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Today is a very exciting day and nerve wracking too. Today, this little one starts <laughs> leg scully. She starts nursery. Mm -hmm. Kindergarten, you are a big nursery girl now. Yeah. She's gonna be brave, mommy's gonna be brave, daddy's already been brave, he's off to work. I'm gonna take her, we're doing nine till 12 today. I'll be there with her, I'll help her make friends and settle in and then we'll come home, have lunch, have a nap and then play for the afternoon and then tomorrow we go I think up until nap time or maybe she'll have a nap there but I'll keep you posted on how it goes look at you you're all ready for playgroup for nursery I don't know what to call it <laughs> yay cuddles yes baby that's all your friends in there cuddles Mummy shoes? So today, Mia, we're going to go up to your leg scully where we've been playing in the playground and we're going to probably go inside, find a hook, put your coat there and your shoes and your bag and then we're going to go meet your teacher, Mia. Yeah, and she's going to introduce us to all of your classmates. And mummy's gonna have to learn their names. <laughs> They're gonna be your friends. I'm gonna help you make friends. And then we're probably gonna play and maybe sing some songs. And then we're gonna go outside to the swings and the climbing frame and the trip trap bridge and the bus. And we're gonna play out there for a while. And then we're gonna say bye bye for today gonna come home and have some lunch and then a nap and then we're going to do it all again tomorrow yeah what do you think Mugs? does that sound good yeah and if you're wondering how we got on So today was Mia's first day at Legs Gully, at nursery, kindergarten, whatever we're gonna call it. Uh, we were there for I think two hours, or just slightly over two hours, and it was so nice because that was just such a nice, gentle welcome into it all because I think full time will be so weird to not have her here. We're currently just playing on the balcony with some shapes and we've been doing bubbles and having some snacks and yay! We had fun at Leg Scully today, didn't you? Yeah, doctor. Yeah, you made some new friends. We had one little girl called Victoria who was holding Mummy's hand when Mia was off. You were off having fun, weren't you? You were playing football. Bobby. You went on a, over a big bridge. Bobby. Did you have fun? Yeah. And now it's gorgeous sunshine so I've got the washing on and we're catching up on some housework. I need to start packing her up for leg scully so getting everything together, getting it all labelled with her name and my phone number so that's what I'm kind of doing in the meantime as well. So now we roughly know what we have to pack and have above her peg at school and yeah we're just gonna chill out this afternoon and enjoy this lovely weather. So this is basically what I've laid out so far. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, I'm trying to not overpack, but I feel like we're having to prepare for many seasons here in Iceland. And of course I've never done this before, so who knows if I get this right, but I'm sure it's fine. It will be absolutely fine. She'll survive and they'll probably have extra of something that I don't have here. Num num is for Dolly. Clever girl. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Mmm. Me, Bartha. Clever girl. You are literally a walking advert for more children. <laughs> you are so cute. Mmm. 
Mm. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. Yum yum. Oh, seriously. Mmm, <laughs> mm, delicious. Right, good morning. It is day two of leg scully transition. We are up and breakfasted. Mia is just finishing her breakfast. I'm ready, I'm gonna get her dressed now, but I'm gonna go through what I'm packing for her as her kind of wardrobe <laughs> for Lex Scully, um, just because it might be interesting for you, but also if you are a mum in a different country <laughs> and you have no idea what the system is like, especially here in Iceland where you have to kind of pack for all weathers, then this might be helpful to you. So the first thing is a puddle suit, which actually does fit her right now which is ideal and I've put her name and my phone number on these kind of sticky labels I'll show you the company this is the company not sponsored but if you are in the UK or I don't know find your equivalent but very good they're like a sticky that doesn't come off of the actual label inside the clothes in the wash and things like that so that's what I've used on everything and of course to go with the puddle suit we've got a pair of wellies look how tiny these are so cute so these fit her right now but will probably not fit for a huge amount longer so we've got the next size up we do so that's your wet weather gear bunny or as we say in icelandic kanina so bunny comes with you for nap time so she's going to cuddle into that two hats one that she'll wear one as a backup is that funny one set of gloves two sets of gloves, <laughs> three sets of gloves, and then we have the winter ones which I'll take later on. One set of woolly socks and then a second set of very fancy woolly socks, look how gorgeous these are. A pair of tights, a woolen jumper, some big thick fleece lined trousers, so hopefully that will keep her kind of autumn warm. One set of spare clothes, a second set of spare clothes which are a bit thicker so that's a very cute little um, tracksuit from her buddy Isold. And then you're supposed to have slippers for indoors so these might do for right now because the slippers that she got for her birthday don't fit her yet but they will sometime soon. And then of course we've got wipes and nappies in a bag. We're using disposable nappies because that's what's preferred and also seemingly it helps with them being aware that they're wet ready for potty training so that's what we're doing and then all of it is going to go inside mummy's rucksack and Mia is going to take this to school with her. I can't show you her right now because she is having her breakfast in the nude um, <laughs> as toddlers do but little Miss Mia is an absolute chatterbox these days. Mummy, mummy. She's got a whole load of new words and at the moment they are all in English. She does understand Iceland Icelandic. Oh, I can't even speak. Um, she's a bilingual baby. She will probably be speaking Icelandic within a week or so and I'll have to catch up with her. But it is, it's so amazing to just see her come on and she will just, that will speed up so much when she's in nursery. This is Mia trying to take her bag off to leg scully. The bag is almost as big as she is. What a big grown up girl. We did just unfortunately have a little accident, that's why she's got her dummy. But we're heading out now, yeah. Should we go? Papi. Mama? Mama. Mummy? Mummy. Mama. <laughs> Baby. Baby, yeah. Can you say ball? Ball. 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 Blue. Blue. Car. Car. Two. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Ten. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Glasses. Uh, I. Mm, toast. <laughs> toast. This is kind of strange and unexpected. Um, <laughs> I'm home <laughs> and Mia is at, at uh, leg scully. I was going to say dog mama. She's at leg scully on her own, quite happy without mummy and was completely ready for it. Very excited to go this morning and when we got there she just went off and played and did the songs. 
just quite happy didn't need mummy so they said why don't you just go home have a coffee enjoy a couple of hours to yourself and then come back for her at 12 o'clock so she can have her lunch and have a nap so yeah now i'm home <laughs> and mia is all grown up and doesn't need mummy it appears and i have my coffee and my laptop and i'm going through some emails and i'm getting an earlier than i expected taste of what life is going to be like for the next however long so yeah i feel very very proud of her and proud of myself um i'm a little bit smug right now <laughs> i hope she's doing fine i'm sure she is but yeah it was great i just i explained to her that mummy's going and she's gonna go out into playground and play with her friends and I asked for a kiss and a cuddle and she gave me a kiss and then a cuddle and then she just waved bye bye and she just walked off and she was holding I think she was holding one of the teacher's hands and then as I kind of watched her walking away she just let go and headed for the sandpit so there we go it's done <laughs> on the second day we were only there for two hours yesterday one hour today and she's already done it it's amazing so I think tomorrow she might stay until nap time and have her nap there and maybe have lunch as well and then we'll just see. I feel I feel a bit lost. I feel a bit like what do I do now? But I have I've been making a big list of things that I want to do and the weather is good so I think I'm just I'm just going to enjoy it and just kind of take in the sunshine, enjoy my coffee and the peace, get the place looking back the way I want it while well, she's out <laughs> um, get the washing in think about lunch for her and then go back and get her and see how she's done wow they grow up so fast it's crazy one of the women said she's brilliant she's doing great do you know what this means though it means you could have another one and I was like I know she's a walking advert for it <laughs> She even turned around and went, Mama, baby. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned guys. We're now walking back from playgroup, playgroup, nursery, leg scully, whatever it's called. Mia is exhausted, but she did so well, didn't you? You had so much fun. She, however, didn't touch her lunch. She just drank milk and water, turned her nose up at the lovely fish. <laughs> and is now definitely ready for a nap. Aren't you, Mrs? Did you have fun? Mia. Mia Lula. Day three, and Mia has determined that Daddy, poor Daddy has to go to work. She's bringing Daddy his shoes. Mm -hmm. You want Daddy to go, don't you? Daddy will go next week. Yeah. And Mummy might get a long lie. <laughs> yeah. Right, Mummy's shoes. These ones? Mama. Mama! Yay! Let's go for day three. Of course, the one day I don't wear a coat, it rains. <laughs> I'll put you up here whilst I'm making my coffee. So basically, this morning went so well that Mia is now integrated <laughs> and is a nursery girl. Um, I just, I feel... I don't feel emotional or anything because I'm not really thinking about it too much but I just feel proud. Proud of her and proud of us for raising her to be so okay to just adjust to this change and she was really looking forward to it. She was so excited this morning, kept getting our shoes ready so that we would get out the door and yeah we basically, I took her, uh, we arrived, I gave all the nappy things over so that, that was sorted and then I am going to pour the coffee. We sat down in the in the breakfast room and they were having porridge which Mia is not the biggest fan of. I have a picky child, I don't know how this happened, I did not mean for this to happen but I think because I didn't want a picky child I ended up with a picky child. Anyway, um, so yeah she sat down to have porridge, had like four glasses of milk and some I think maybe a couple of raisins but she did throw a few on the floor so I told her off and I don't know I'm not sure how I feel like in front of these people kind of doing things with my child or trying to step away it's hard to know how involved you should be because they're trying 
to integrate her into a system where you're not going to be involved and they're involved. So it's quite difficult to know where to stop. But obviously you're the parent, you have every right to be involved, you're there to be involved, so you want to be involved up to a point. So anyway, um, basically she finished her breakfast, not that she had much of it, and then she just got down from her chair and went to play with the toys and waved goodbye, not even looking at me, just bye, bye, and that was it. <laughs> um, and the staff just said, this is great, well done Mia, and off you go mummy. So I went over and I said Mia come and give mummy a cuddle and I had the mask on so I couldn't get a kiss. Um, but yeah she came back, gave me a big cuddle and then went back to find Dolly in the cot and the play with the till and she's quite happy. So that was it. I walked out all on my own and I was brave and left <laughs> and I went to the bakery on the way back so I'm now having a coffee and a croissant before Ingemar comes back he's at a meeting right now and then we're going to swap over so I'll have the car because I've got some orders to get out I've got to go and pick up a snowsuit I've got to do this that and the next thing so I'm going to spend the day just kind of doing errands he's going to go off to work me is at school ah and this is our normal life now, the new normal. Um, hopefully it continues to be as smooth. <laughs> What does Sonia do with a bit of time off? <laughs> Away from Mia. Me time? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do. So <laughs> today I ended up going for a little drive and then because it was raining, I was going to go for a walk, but it's just disgusting outside. So I got some orders done. I finished the commission, which had been on my desk for a week now. That's finished. Everything is shipped. I went to the post office got that completed but also had a battle with them over they want to charge for a free sample coming into the country so I had a little debate <laughs> with them about that and customs lovely customs in Iceland it drives me insane but anyway I just left it it's not worth it I'm not gonna battle with them any longer so I felt a bit frustrated <laughs> after that and I decided the only real place to go that's affordable to take your frustration out um, is the charity shop. So I have a little haul for you <laughs> and we all love a good freebie second-hand reusable uh, charity shop haul so here we go. Let's just get stuck into this because I need to go and pick up Mia. So the first thing I got was a glass jug because Next week, or the week after, I'm not quite decided yet, when I start really getting back into work, I need to try and <laughs> take in more water. So I'm basically doing anything to make that more appealing to me. They're candlestick holders, but I mean, they're buildings. They're concrete buildings. Sonia couldn't say no to these. So I've got these two and they'll just act as paperweights on my desk. But instead of candles, I'm thinking that my, this is very niche I realise, but my Apple Pencil could sit in them. And then I always know where it is because I keep losing it. I do have a backup though, so I've got one for each. So they will sit on my desk. Then we have one of these, I think these are like wine stack carrier things. I'm not sure. But what I'm gonna do, an excuse to send Ingmar off to his mate Victor, I'm going to get them to saw these in half because I've seen a lot of Pinterest hacks for this kind of like hook system in nurseries and babies rooms that looks really cute with you know their hat on and their dummy and whatever. Um, so I think that this is going to work cut in half and then we'll have one for the hall or our bedroom. I have a few DIY projects or just kind of renovation ideas that I want to do around the house. And then the last thing is epic, <laughs> another ridiculous Sonia type find. I messaged Ingmar about the whole customs palava and he, he was, I said to him, I'm blowing off some steam in the charity shop and he jokingly said, are you fighting over bamboo baskets with some Chinese woman? And lo and behold, <laughs> but actually it's a stool. 
and it's pretty pretty cool it's in really good condition i'm just going to give it a really good scrub and clean and i might use it for some product pictures as well because it's a kind of it's like part of my color scheme so i'm trying to stick with my branding colors and keep them through everything that i do so that it kind of pulls it together and then it will be easier for me or i'll feel more viable to share interior shots on Instagram and also on my blog as well. So all of this is kind of a bit of me time and looking forward to getting back to work and yeah, just having fun with the process and enjoying everything. I'm trying not to think of it as Mia is off to school and so I'm off to work, but this is just, this is our life continuing into the next chapter or mini chapter or whatever and so then it's not a huge big change it's just part of the process because realistically it is so it can be really fun when you think of it like that it's just the process and i'm gonna enjoy the process look who's back back again back from leg scully she made some friends Woo! yeah mia did so well didn't you she not only had a good nap fell asleep within three minutes actually ate some lunch <laughs> not just bread she has spaghetti and you did fine didn't you and when i came in i said maya mia and you turned around and your face just lit up with a big smile yeah you came and gave me a hug it was so nice <laughs> so now we're gonna go off and do some food shopping and get ready for dinner and then go and pick up pabby so it's day four, it's Thursday, and Mia today is going for a full day. So we're dropping you off at eight o'clock to have, we're probably gonna be late, uh, 10 past eight <laughs> to have breakfast there with your friends. And then you're gonna read some stories, sing some songs. Have fun, are you gonna enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And mommy's gonna go home and do a little home spa treatment. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so good, isn't it? I'm gonna be brave. Oh, big yawn. Right, so I dropped me off this morning and she was kind of being a little bit, I mean, she was excited and happy, but she was just a little bit off, not really her full self. Um, so, and it's very, very different today because I didn't go in to help her settle. So I think she could kind of sense that something different was happening but basically she sat down I took off her coat she turned away when the children came out to see who was there and she wouldn't take off her shoes and she was like no I don't really want to sort of play with them um, and then the teacher came out and kind of chatted to her in Icelandic and it was fine I gave her a cuddle gave her a kiss she waved bye bye and then the teacher kind of said to me, we'll phone you if things aren't going well. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so it was good, but it was just, it was very different today because I didn't go in to help settle her. So I kind of came away thinking, oh, that was really kind of scary, nerve wracking, a little bit emotional, but we're going to be brave. Um, I'm going to drop daddy off at work now and then go home and do whatever I'm going to do. And this is a big day because this is the first day where she doesn't come in with me and helps me settle. <laughs> she's not going to take off my shoes and she's going to leave oh before the God. other kids come in. But seriously, it's scary. Like, it's, it's I have to be brave. Oh, yeah. I, feel, I feel like I've abandoned her. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> but anyway, they said that they'll phone if, if need be and she's been there for an hour and a half now she's probably absolutely fine playing with her friends making a gang in the playground having a great time so I'm gonna try not to think about it and just get on with my day <laughs> good job brave. Brave. Yep, brave how do you feel about having a leg schooly girl now old <laughs> Yeah, you are old. Thanks, babe. <laughs> it does make you feel like, wow, where has the time gone? So she has grown up so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. How's your job? Give us a little update. It's demanding and 
challenging and fun Whee. and that's the way I like it much like you're driving <laughs> there's no challenge here I feel challenged mm -hmm. like I was like why are you filming her driving <laughs> it's evidence okay right catch up later what a difference a few hours make so today I have just had the day to myself and it's felt so so surreal and so good I'm trying not to think about Mia but I'm about to just get myself ready go and pick her up so I thought I'd show you <laughs> what a difference clean hair I did a bit of a facial I did my nails did my toenails and I cleaned the whole apartment and then I repotted some plants and took a whole load of cuttings which was great fun and I felt like it was really good self-care and meditative so I've enjoyed today very much and we didn't get a phone call from nursery so I'm hoping that Mia has enjoyed her day as well but I'll show you around and then I'll take you over to pick her up so this is probably the best angle to show you how tidy everything is because this is still kind of a bit crazy but you know it's gonna be like that I took some cuttings of, I don't know the names of everything so whatever this pretty purple and green one took some cuttings of that I took this um, I think it had to be quite brutal so I did and I've got a whole load of little babies that I'm hoping will root and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's another one over the other side, seven babies from it. This one is doing well, so I've pulled that out to the front. The tomatoes, I've taken a couple off, put them in the fruit bowl. We have this strange one. It is a bit of a weirdo, but I do like my weird plants. So <laughs> we have a ton of babies in a little Tupperware jar. Um, what else? This one I didn't get around to doing. I could, okay, it cut out, so I'm not sure where I got to. Uh, this one I can work on later. I'm sure I can get three or four cuttings out of that, and then some babies at the bottom. Um, this one I've divided up because it was going crazy, so I thought actually I'll let it breathe a bit and it can have babies too. And then we've got one uh, money tree down here, another little succulent down at the back, and then this one, which has a few babies in there and there's one in the kitchen that has a few babies so that's exciting this is doing amazingly outside my mum will be saying all the names of these flowers as I talk I potted this one up and then I added this which once it's kind of overgrown will look super cool falling down the side of there so that's kind of what the unit looks like at the moment I need to tidy up this shelf here and down below is just, ugh, need to sort that out. But later on, there's there's more to life. This one is doing so well. This is the original, and look how many babies are in there. Then this is a mint tree, mint plant, and I've got some cuttings over here for that. And these are four or five, I think, cuttings from the plant that I brutally attacked. So I'm hoping that they root in the sunshine here. And then we'll have lots and lots of plant babies to share with people, which is exciting. We've also got these plants, these plants, this one, this one here, and this one, this little beauty, and this one, which I think I'm going to swap out for that previous spider plant because it's just so pretty. And of course, there's a few plastic ones around as well, but that is the plant house tour i'm gonna go and get mia now and give her loads of cuddles i'm gonna take our swim stuff and if she doesn't seem too tired and hungry i'll take snacks as well then i might see if she wants to go swimming because it's beautiful weather outside even though i wash my hair today if not i'll just come back here and we'll play on the balcony in the sunshine so we shall see mommy's done something exciting outside for you look <gasps> yay we've got a bath in the sunshine Put these here. You got your swim nappy on. You ready? Yay! And of course, you can't have a bath without some snacks and some bubbles. Yay! Yeah. Can mommy, blow these. Bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah. Quack quack. 
Blue. Blue. Yellow. What else have you got? Yay. Mia, look. Bubbles. Does it pop on your lip? Yucky. Whoa. We should have started the week off like this, but this is going to be your little start of the bedtime routine. Fun. Yeah. Fun. yeah. Good morning, happy Friday, welcome back. Today is the last day of kind of integration, although Mia is fully integrated into leg scully. Um, and today we have Pabby joining us for the walk to nursery. So today Mia's gonna do a full day just like yesterday. She did really well yesterday, no problems at all. So I'm hoping it'll just be the same today. It's a beautiful sunny day. So she'll be rolling around in the grass in the play park again. Do you feel proud of her? Yep. Whoa, look at that sunshine. Woo, goodness. This, this is not Iceland. <laughs> look at that 90s hairstyle. You're rocking the uh, Spice Girls look. Mia, hi. Spice Monks. Mia, <laughs> bye bye. Mia, say bye. Bye. <laughs> another successful drop off. It was really nice to do it as a family though. Whoa, sunshine. How did you feel dropping her off? It was good seeing her go there and now oh, she's gonna be in good, good hands. She's gonna be well taken care of and she's gonna be enjoying herself throughout the day. Playing she's a lot gonna be building Lego. Yeah. Yeah. She was a little bit whimpery going in but you just have to go with it and trust them and it just it proves you that she totally can be away from you. She doesn't need you all the time. It's good for all of us. It's definitely good for her. And we could even see through the window that as soon as she left, she was playing with toys, really, really happy, and she's fine. So we don't need to worry about her. And yeah, we can just get on with our work this day now. This is a very tired and hot and overexcited and now sleepy sleepy Friday feeling Mia. My baby, you had a good day but you're so tired now aren't you? Monkey, yeah. I had to give her a dummy because she was just, she was just at her wit's end. My baby, let's go upstairs and play with all your toys and have cuddles and a snack maybe, yeah? The children on the bus go up and down all day long. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The grands on the bus go text, 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 text. The mummies on the bus go chatter, 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 chatter. The daddies on the bus go shh, 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 yeah, all day long. And that's a wrap. Okay.